Hi folks, I'm here today to show you a really easy to use but mission critical feature of Gravit Designer. And let me just quickly open up a recent file. I've got this logo file, this logo demonstration, uh, four variations on this logo. And I want to save this so that I can either turn it in or maybe email it to somebody. But Gravit Designer and many other pieces of software use a proprietary format to store their files. And that pro what proprietary means is that it belongs to Gravit Designer. And so with a proprietary image, you need to have the software that the image was created with in order to see it. Now, the person I'm sending it to might not have that. And in fact, the more specialized the software is, the less likely a person is to have it. So in order to send it, I don't want it to be in a proprietary format. I want it to be in a portable format. What portable means, it's a computer term that means easily opened in a variety of platforms. And so there are many uh, portable formats. For example, PDF, Portable Document Format, which is an Adobe product, is widely licensed and virtually every device has a PDF viewer. But for graphics, PDFs aren't really the way we usually go. There are a lot of different graphics formats, but probably the most famous is JPEG. And so what I want to do today is take my Gravit Design image and I want to save a viewable copy of it called a JPEG. So I'm going to go up to my file menu and this is how easy it is. I'm going to pull down to export, go over to that menu, and you can see, well, the first option it offers is advanced export, which is a pay feature, and we're using the free version. We don't really need any special features for this one anyway. There's the PNG image format, which is a portable format. But again, I'm going to use JPEG. So I just click JPEG. Now, in this particular case, I'm saving it to a Chromebook. And you'll notice it comes up with this save file as screen. And it's really important that you take a quick look and see where it's saving it. So for me, it's going to save it um, in the My Files folder inside another folder called Downloads. And I'm just going to change this to Demo M. And you'll see it says .jpg for JPEG. That's the file suffix. And I click Save. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Now, if I want to email that to somebody, I, you know, compose my email and click the Attach button and go to my, my Files, Downloads, find the Demo M file, attach it, and send it. Same deal with Google Classroom. If I'm in Google Classroom, all I need to do is browse the computer, find the file and attach it and turn it in. And that's all there is to it. So I hope this video is useful to you because this feature is absolutely something everyone who uses Gravit Designer needs to know about. Thanks for watching.